Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Boog Nice coming at you with the Marvel Infinite Series Hulk figure review. Let's do it. Man, I used to play the trap spot, propped on the block like I was part of the backdrop. Now it's scale, props, effects, and backdrops. The right lighting, you never catch me biting. Say you make it look so real when well, you pose the biggest fighting. I caught lightning, stuck it in the detour. Replicate epic scenes from the pre war. Compose pieces with artists that span the globe. Fearsome foes, fighting in the picture perfect pose. Insert the comic book, cut out to shoot a show. Oh, you ain't know? Yo, everybody know me. I made nerds. Cool, cooler, like my man Zoe. Took the everyday display, gave it a spark. Welcome to articulated comic book art. That's crispy. And just taking a quick look at the back of the package, you can see some of the other characters from this wave. Uh, you got the Grim Reaper, you got Hyperion, Wasp, Captain America, and the Heroic Age Iron Man. This is actually Hulk. Uh, in his Marvel Now get up or his Marvel Now look. Taking a closer look at the uh, paint and design of this Hulk, the look of this Hulk, my initial reaction is that I, I really do like the way he came out. I think he looks pretty nice. Uh, I think it's a nice imposing Hulk figure. I think it's some nice, pretty nice paint apps. And I think it's a, a pretty cool design. And initially, I didn't really like the look of this Hulk when I saw it in the comic books and I thought it was really stupid to have Hulk with an armor on and I'm sure a lot of people shared the same sentiments but after kind of reading up a bit on it and uh, and why he was wearing the armor uh, it kind of grew on me a bit uh, apparently Banner is uh, kind of come to terms with the fact that he can't control the Hulk and the armor is actually on Banner and it expands when he uh, morphs into the Hulk and I guess it makes it where there's no more naked Hulk too. And you see he's got the brown pants and he's got all of these armor parts. And they did some really nice, uh, a really decent job with the paint and the shading on here. This armor really looks like it's it's worn. And you know, you can see like some kind of rust or something on there. And we got these yellow accents here on the two chest plates and here on the waist and that sort of kind of looks like there is some energy or something running through there like it is a working device and you can see some more uh, black wash and some more shading here on the back and it looks pretty good man uh, only thing I don't like is these little uh, pieces here are a little flimsy uh, they can come off it does seem like everything can come off this whole entire harness can come off so if you want to have him as a bare chested hulk then you could and it looks like his upper body is a little larger than some of the other hulks that they put out in the past uh, but it is a decent looking design even the head sculpt looks pretty nice he's got the shorter buzz cut sort of looks like a military cut the face is a little more slimmed down than some other hulks we've seen in the past but in terms of articulation the head is on a ball joint can look up just about that far I'm pretty sure this head can probably pop off uh, can't look down too far the chest is really really big uh, I can do a full 360 you do get a decent range of motion on the head uh, the shoulder is on a ball joint you get an upper uh, bicep swivel you get a single jointed elbow you get a swivel at the wrist unfortunately no hinge on the wrist that would have been cool uh, you get this upper chest rotation it can't really move back or forward too much that's, that's pretty much all you're gonna get uh, no turn at the waist so this is all of the waist and upper chest articulation in one uh, you get this t-joint here at the pelvis which has upper thigh rotation here you get a double jointed uh, knee here and no turn at the shin uh, you do get some rotation at the uh, bottom of the boot and you do get a decent ankle pivot here so a pretty decent range of motion for a large uh, imposing figure here quick size comparison with some of the other hulks that uh, have come out in three and three quarter inch from Marvel Universe or whatever they're branding the line as now and these were also really good releases on the left and the right you got the King Hulk on the right and you got a savage kind of Hulk on the left and they all are about the same height but like I said the uh, the the width of uh, this Hulk's chest is a little larger I guess we can call him the Marvel now Hulk they just they just put Hulk on the package but it's really the Marvel now In my opinion this was probably the last good figures that the Marvel Universe uh, that Marvel Universe was putting out uh, and again they were branding it the infinite series and now they're coming out with other figures that look pretty decent but 
the articulation is is lacking for sure and uh, they did a good job with these last couple of waves that they had put out before this but the as far as I as far as I'm concerned the line is a is officially dead to me uh, but this is definitely a, a decent purchase if you're a big Hulk fan or if you are trying to build a team of some of the modern Avengers then this is definitely a, a must own alright y'all till next time peace Crispy.